So in this video, we'll discuss about user instructions of RS Logix 500. So do you guys know what is RS Logix 500? So uh, let me explain it. It is a software by which we can program our PLC. So uh, the name of PLC I have written down. Uh, you can see that uh, in all the videos we are using the same PLC. And uh, now let's come to user instruction. So first user instruction is read. Rail is what? In ladder logic, we can see our ladder logic uh, somewhat look like this. And here we have got lots of horizontal lines depends on our ladder programming. Uh, what is ladder logic? Like uh, in other languages, we have C, C++, PHP. So in same case, we have got ladder logic to program our PLC. So you can say it is a programming language. And the vertical lines, these two vertical lines are known as real. Next, these uh, horizontal lines in which we uh, define our programming, you can call it as rung. And the symbol for new rung, you can see in uh, upward on the software that uh, this is the symbol of rung. Now let's come to next. Next we have NO and NC. These two are input instructions. Oh, what type of input we can have sensors, sensors like uh, fluid sensor, temperature sensor and anything uh, by which we want to give input to our PLC that will come in input instruction that is NO and NC. Here in user instruction we have two type of input instruction. Normally open and normally closed. So now let's explain what is NO. NO, uh, suppose as input, I have got push button. So initially when push button is released, as it, it is not pressed, that time we can see circuit is open, as it, signal will not flow from it. But when I press it, its structure will look like this. And we can see circuit gets closed and signal will flow from it. So the symbol for NO is some, somewhat like this and signal for NC is somewhat like this. Now let's come to NC. What is NC? NC is normally closed. It, uh, it means that in released condition, NC, the structure of NC is like this. As it, when it is released, signal is still flowing from it. And when I press it, that time, it's just opposite to NO. So we can... We can go through the comparative study of NO and NC and we find that both are opposite to each other. As it, when push button was released from NO, so signal was not flowing. But in case of NC, signal was flowing. And uh, when I press it, in case of NO, signal was flowing. But in case of NC, circuit breaks and signal do not flow. So now let's see the areas in which where we can use NO and where we can use NC. So, uh, let's take example of start and stop switch. Uh, when I press start switch, what happens? Currents flow from that and output set starts. And in uh, case of stop switch, what happens? That when I press it, the circuit breaks and output gets stops. So, in same case, we can use NO as a start switch. As uh, we have studied the working of NO, as well as NC can be used as stop switch. As we know that initially currents flow and when I press it, that time circuit breaks breaks and current do not flow as it output gets stopped. So now let's come to next instruction which is output instruction. It is instruction for all the outputs which we are taking here. Uh, next we have latch, latch that is parallel lung that uh, shows like this. Next we have latch output. We see that already we have got one output instruction. So why we have got latch output? So the difference between output, simple output and latch output we can define as like uh, at the end we have got one output that is simple output. So what will happen when I press this push button, output will be there and when I release it, output will not be there. But in case of latch, what happened when once I pressed this input, output will be there. But when I release it, that time also output will be there. It means when I release it, output will not get off. So, to get out, output off, we have to unlatch it. For that, we have to use unlatch instruction. And addressing of latch and unlatch output will be same as we want that same output should get on as well as same output should get off. So, that was all about RS Logic's user defined instruction. We will study latch and unlatch. So, firstly, we have taken one input and one output. 
in Allen Bradley Micrologix 1100 Series B. So when I press my input as we have got push button as our input so when I press it we can see output is there and as well as I release it output gets off. So I press my input and then my output should not get off. For that we have got latch. So what we can do firstly just go offline input we can latch it with a bit and addressing of bit is b3 colon 0 slash 0 and here we want same bit and then as input of this bit we can have output And now let's see what happens. Now if I press input, we can see our done bit is 1. And I released input and still our output is there. So that is how we can latch our input or uh, we can latch our output with the help of bit. If we don't want to use this for that we have got latch and unlatch. So in case of latch and unlatch what we can do we can have one input just to on our output. For that let's use latch instruction and here addressing will be same as a normal output and then again we have got another button or input addressing will be different from the upper one and then we have to unlatch it as it will be our stop switch so let me have unlatch instruction and here we have to give the same address as we have given in latch because we want to stop the same output now let's download it And you can see that without latching, I have used latch instruction. So if I press input once, program is or output is latch. As soon as I press input one, output is getting unlatch. So for that, we can use latch and latch as start and stop. If we have if we have push button as our start and stop switches. That's it. If you have any queries, then please let me know in comment section. And if you want to learn more about PLC in SCADA, then subscribe our channel. Thank you.